Hello and welcome to the replay. Hey there, happy Monday. Thanks for stopping in tonight. Um, tonight I have a really fun project to share with you with one of my very favorite transfers ever. So, um, hello Cindy Lou, thanks for joining me. Could you let me know if you can hear and see me through this video? You are always uh, the first one who arrives at my lives, always gets to be the one who lets me know how things were going. Hello Beth, nice to see you. If one of you can just drop me a hello and let me know if you can hear me. That would help me uh, get started with our broadcast. So, let's see, I'm just gonna give that a second so I know for sure what's going on. You guys can just let me know if I am live. Yes, Cindy, thank you so much, great. So, I'm gonna switch my screen a little bit here and see if I can do this correctly. Ah. One of these days I'm gonna figure out how to do this, aren't I? Okay, picture in picture. I like to do this so that um, you can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. It is not gonna to work tonight, is it? There we go. All right, hold on, hold that thought. Let me switch this over. There we go. Hello, 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 happy Monday. So, I wanted to come here live tonight on my VIP group and there's a very good reason for that. Normally I do my lives on my business page. However, um, I am not allowed to offer um, retired transfers in that group um, if I only have a certain amount of them available. And I do have four of the transfers that I'm gonna be working with tonight. So I am allowed to share those here on my VIP group. So. Um, I hope that you like what you see. I think this is one of our most misunderstood designs ever, so I'm going to prove that to you tonight. So, okay. So, as you can see, I already have a design on this chalkboard. This is my favorite chalkboard. It's my Aiden chalkboard that I have been working with since I became a designer almost two years ago. So, tonight I'm going to wash this um, design off of it and redesign using a super, super cute transfer. And I'm gonna to prove to you that bunnies are not just for Easter. So, um, this is all done with the chalk design. So all I need to do is spray it with water, give it a little scrub, and it should come right up. It should, no, it will. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of water. And this design has been on here for, oh my gosh, probably a couple of months. So. You'd think it would be on there pretty tight, and it is. You really have to purpose to take the chalk off of our designs. Um, and sometimes you can just wash them and nothing will happen, but if you scrub them, they will come off. So what I'm using is a board eraser. This is a Chalk Couture product that I absolutely love, and you can see how quickly it'll clean this design right off of my chalkboard. It's kind of like a magic eraser but there aren't any chemicals involved so it's much healthier for you and the environment so I'm just giving this a good scrub and you'll see how easily that comes off so this chalkboard also I've been working with for two years and the thing just keeps on going it is a magnetic porcelain porcelain steel surface and this is one of my very favorite surfaces that I worked with all together. So let me get some paper towels. How are you guys doing tonight? Cindy Lou, I have not seen you in a long time. I think you've been traveling, haven't you? So that was pretty easy to clean. I'll let this dry a little bit. And if I was in a real hurry, I could even 
hit it with my hair dryer, make it dry really, really quickly. So normally I would ask you to share my videos, but I can't even do that in here because this is a VIP group. It is just for my most important customers, and that's you. So here we go. That's just about dry. All right, so. Looks pretty good. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the transfer that we're using tonight. This is called Build a Bunny, and as you know, it is one of my favorites. I've got a little project back here that I made with it a while ago that is one of my favorite things. A little flower fell off of his ear um, here, but I definitely made this one into an Easter project. I think it's just ador adorable, and that's probably why I haven't washed it off yet, because I know I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back on my shelf and show you some of the cool things that come with this transfer. So obviously, there's lots of ways that you can use it for Easter. I'm gonna push this back just a smidge. Um, because we, um, we've got carrots, we've got flowers, we've got raindrops. I'm gonna show you what else is inside this transfer because this one's not all cut up like mine. You were in Italy, holy cow. My husband has been a few times, Cindy. I have never been, but he um, loves the Vatican. That's his favorite place to go. Loves it, loves it, loves it. There goes my phone. Give me one second. Thought I had that turned off. All right, that's my husband calling me. He's in Chicago tonight, and I thought I had put my phone on um, Do Not Disturb, but apparently it didn't didn't work. So I will probably look at that in a second. It looks like I've lost my uh, my screen. So give me one second while I get this going again. Just bear with me, sorry about that. Put my do not disturb on too, huh? Yeah, it is on. <laughs> That's really strange. All right, let me get back to my switcher so I can get back in business. That should work. Really weird. Hold on, let me get back here. My goodness, it's always something, huh? Had a little Wi-Fi issue today, so I don't know if it's that or what's going on. So, wow, the best laid plans, right? Okay, it happens. So it looks like my uh, video's continuing, but this is not. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm sorry, you guys. This is the strangest thing. I think we got it. Put you back up here. Da -da -da, we're back. All right, so let me put this back up here. Put that up there and switch them. There we go, sorry about that. Okay, so as I was saying, not only does it have things for Easter, but we've also got a big ba a pail that you could use for our beaches or you could put any of these things. We've got tulips and carrots and Easter eggs, but you could put beach, make it a, make a beach scene with it. We've got an umbrella, we've got dandelions, we've got clouds, and we have a really super cute balloon. And that is what I am going to use tonight to show you um, how we can make this a non-Easter design. So this one does come with these two sheets. It's almost like a, a large E-size transfer and it retails at $39.99. I have four of these available. So if you decide that you want this transfer, uh, you're going to give me um, hashtag Easter Bunny and I will make sure that I put one aside from you. And not only that, I love these. Um, these board erasers so much that if you decide that you want to buy one of these tonight, I will send you one of these for free. So it's a $39.99 transfer plus the um, the squeegee and I will send that right out to you. Um, you will have to pay for shipping uh, unless you're local to me and you'd like to pick up and we can make arrangements for that too. So hashtag Easter Bunny if you love this as much as I do. So 
I have already got the pieces cut out from that transfer. So I've got the balloon. I've got this little bunny who kind of looks like he's sitting. He or she, I'm not really sure what it is. This piece right here is one of the layers um, that goes over his ear. So that'll go right about there after I've chalked the first layer. And I've also got the string for the bunny to be holding the balloon. So I think this is gonna be a really super cute uh, project and I'm anxious to get it started. So the first piece that I'm going to do is the bunny itself. And I have already used this transfer, so I've already written on the back. Somehow I missed the front, so I'm just gonna put my initials on there. And all of the bunnies are numbered, so this is bunny number two. And the inside of his ear is also labeled with a two, so that makes it a lot easier for you to figure out which layers go with which bunny. And this one here is just the string for the balloon. So I'm gonna write string on the back and my initials. And again, initials on the other side. And the balloon. And my initials. And again, my initials on the front. So I know that the ladies that have, are watching me, some of you have been to some of my classes and you know exactly why I write on both sides of my transfers, but I'm gonna explain that just in case you're watching this on the replay or you're jumping in late. So the reason that I do this is first of all, um, you wanna be able to identify which carrier sheet, which is the white sheet, your silk screen transfer goes on. So when you have a whole bunch of transfers all over your table that you're using, um, it's sometimes it's easy to mix up which ones go on which carrier sheet. These are pretty obvious, but it always isn't. So that just helps you know which one it goes on. Um, putting your initials on it, make sure that if you're working with a group of people that you get your transfer back. The other reason that I do this, and probably the most important reason, is because this um, carrier sheet is very, very slick and shiny on one side, which is the side that's attached to the sticky transfer. And the side that I wrote on isn't very um, sticky at all. So when you're putting the transfer, <coughs> excuse me, back on the carrier sheet. Oh my gosh, <coughs> I'm all choked up. Um, you don't wanna put the transfer back on the dull side because um, when you stick it on there, sometimes it's really, really hard to get off. So you wanna be able to put it on the side that's very slick. It's kind of like the back of a sticker paper when it gets on there very, very easily. So I'm gonna start with that bunny and move everything else to the side for now. Cindy, what was your favorite part of Italy? So I'm gonna just peel this off the transfer sheet and this one has you been used before. Normally what I recommend is that you take um, either a towel or your t-shirt, um, your pants. Um, we also have something called a fuzzing cloth, which is wonderful because um, brand new uh, transfers are very, very sticky sometimes. And what you do is you will just attach it and I'm gonna do it with another piece. Rub it down on there just to pick up a little fiber like lint from the fabric and it helps it release easier from the surface that you have it on. <clears throat> Excuse me. We loved Venice. Oh my goodness, someday I'll get there. So I'm gonna just apply this to my chalkboard and you wanna make sure that it's, it's down nice and tight. So you can give that a rub down with your finger it actually doesn't matter if you go all the way to the edges of the transfer because just the areas around the open part um, are the one, the pieces that really need to be stuck down well. Um, you want to be make sure that it's nice and smooth. There are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in your transfer. And that way you'll get a nice clean design. So in case you haven't seen this before, I'm going to show you the transfer up close. So if you look really closely, you'll see that there's a fine... Um, screen that runs through the whole design. That's what makes it a silk screen and having that screen in the design allows you for a much more detailed image. So you can see that if you were trying to do this with a stencil, there is no way you'd ever get those cute little flowers in there like we're going to tonight. So um, I think you'll love using our transfers. They are reusable. You can use them over and over again on chalkboards, wood, metal, glass, mirrors, and even fabrics with our inks. So a couple days ago I made a t-shirt and you see my daughter modeled that. If you look back in our Facebook group, um, it came out super, super cute on her. So I am going to use a color called Fresh Linen. I haven't opened this one before, but 
it looks like a pretty nice color. It's not exactly gray and it's not really tan. It's kind of a, I guess the color is grayish. That's the color, right? I'm just gonna take the foil off the top. And we're gonna give this a good stir. You always wanna stir up your paste before you use them to make sure that all of the, the color um, pigments are well blended and there aren't any bumps and bumps in there. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir. You want it to be about the consistency of cake batter. This one already looks a little bit thick, but it's probably because it hasn't been stirred up, up yet and there's still some um, loose, looser bits down on the bottom. So I'm gonna give this a stir and get it to be about that consistency. If it still feels a little thick, you can always add a couple drops of water to it to get it nice and smooth. And this one's coming along. Yeah, sometimes after you've used them a little bit, they do um, get a little bit thicker and it's absolutely okay and it's absolutely normal. I'm just gonna use a little spray of water to get this just a little bit thinner. You never know what you're gonna get when you open up these jars, I guess. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rubber squeegee and we have a few different sizes, so depending on the surface that you're using, the size of the transfer that you're working with, you might wanna use a larger or a smaller um, squeegee. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of that out on my squeegee and just spread it over the open areas of the design, just like this. And it really doesn't matter if you use more chalk paste than you need, because all of that excess chalk paste gets scraped off and put right back into the jar to use for another project. Da, da, da. So, okay, put that to the side. Now before that dries, you wanna peel it up quickly you should have a very cute little bunny there. Oh, he's really cute. There we go. I'm just gonna put this to the side for now and clean that up a little bit later. See, I've got a little spot where I went outside the lines. That is no big deal, especially when you're using our chalkboards because they wash off super easy, just like this. All right. Cover my chalk paste jar. And keep that nice and sealed. Hello there, if you are just joining us, be sure to say hello, hello, hello. We are using a ador an adorable transfer called Build a Bunny, but we're showing you that it is not just for Easter. Falling off my chair here. Okay. I'm just going to dry this quick with my hair dryer so that we can move along to the next step. Okie dokie. So that dries really, really quickly. So the next thing that we are going to work is the string for the balloon. And I think after that I'll come back, actually I might do the, might do the balloon next, I'm not sure yet. But I'll come back to the, when this bunny's cool and put the layer on his ear. So this is a string. It's pretty simple looking, I guess. But it should fit right into this little curve under his hands right there. So. Okay. So again, I'm gonna make sure that is on there nice and tightly. Don't have to go all the way to the edges on your transfer. And I'm gonna, oops, I forgot to get some white. I have a nice white string, right? There is my string. Remember, if you love this bunny transfer, be sure to hashtag me Easter Bunny, even though this isn't just for Easter. Okay, I just used this a little while ago, so I know that it's very well stirred. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white on my squeegee and roll it right up the line there. That was easy. The excess comes right off and back into the jar. And that should be good to go. Start down here. So 
of making this a mint green balloon. What do you think? Do you guys like mint green? I always like to hear what you have to say about that, but I have this one here. It actually is called mint green. I don't think this is actually a current color, but it is a really, really pretty green. So while you let me know about that, I am going to, maybe I will do his ear next. Hello, Miss Tina. How are you tonight? I'm going to do the inside of his ear and because I'm layering this on top of a piece that I've already chalked I'm just gonna make sure that that has been fuzzed really really well because that will um, it won't eliminate but it really makes makes it easier to pull the transfer off without pulling what's underneath it off with it so I've got my little ear all set here just to figure out which direction it goes I think this way and I'm just following this little curve of a line on his ear right about there and this should just take me a red hot second to do hey miss Tina what are you doing tonight okay my pink looks a little thick I can already tell just by looking in here oh yeah it's a thirsty pink and I'm gonna give it a little drink of water off screen here so I don't spray the bunny give that a stir Tina, I was watching your dogs with their bark box last night. Oh my God, that was the cutest one ever. It's like a rock star bark box she got for her puppies. And they go nuts when they get it. Okay, I just need a tiny little bit of that. I use a tiny little squeegee to go with. What do you think of this one? Sometimes I cut up the squeegees to make them smaller so I can do little detail pieces just like this gonna spread that on excess goes back in the jar and if I can get my nail under there I'm gonna peel that up and he's got a cute little ear accent okay all right yeah they love it I saw them they went crazy you going on vacation Tina where are you going We're getting ready to go back to Myrtle Beach in a couple of weeks, I think. Okay, so the balloon I have never ever used before. And I've already got pink chalk on it. Doing good. Let me just get that out of there. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna fuzz this part here. And again, that is just attaching it to um, a fabric surface. It can be your t-shirt. It can be a towel. It can be your jeans. Um, a lot of times when I have events, you'll see that I post pictures of people with transfers on their chest like this. And what they're doing is they're adding a little bit of fuzz <laughs> to their transfers. So they're not quite as sticky as they could be. All right. So that feels pretty good. It's interesting that you can use these transfers when they're barely sticky at all and they still keep on going. So I'm gonna put that right about there. And smooth that down. So I have overlapped the string just a little bit and that looks perfect. I feel a little bump under this flower. So I'm gonna go back in and see what I got. It's like a tiny little piece of chalk dust and it's still there. So if you like this bunny transfer, I have four available. You're going to hashtag Easter Bunny, even though it can be used for other things. And I will be sure to save one just for you. So close this. And I'm going to grab that mint green. Mississippi. I don't know if I've ever been to Mississippi. a lot of places but that's not one of them. A little water drip here. 
I'm just gonna stir this up really, really well. This is a beautiful consistency. You want it to be just about the consistency of cake batter or yogurt, whatever you fancy. Tina, how old's your grandson now? Okay, that looks great. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different than the others that I did before. And I'm gonna use this handled squeegee. This is something that we've had in our product line for a while and I never, I never realized how much I would love using it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's really great for large open surfaces like this um, where you can play with it a lot, a little bit, but um, it just covers really smoothly and easily and you can get a big job done pretty quickly. So I'm gonna take my little stirring stick here and just kind of plop some chalk on there and I'm gonna use the handled squeegee to spread it around. So watch how quickly this gets done. And it makes fun sounds too. <laughs> Bonus. All right, so then you're gonna scoop off the excess right back in the jar like we've done with all the other ones. Sometimes it drips a little bit off of this uh, kind of squeegee, so you just wanna Keep your jar close by and I think it looks marvelous. All right, here we go. Cindy Lou, one Easter bunny for you. Here we go. This balloon is going to be really cute. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, so cute. I am going to grab my dryer and dry that up a little bit. What do you guys think? Now, I feel like um, I feel like I want to put something right here. However, if I was giving going to make this for a baby or for a birthday, you could write happy birthday there. You could put a baby's name, you could put the number of their birthday. But I didn't bring anything like that with me tonight. However, I could go get another bunny to put right there. What do you think? Show me some hearts if you think I should put another bunny in here. Don't want to have any lonely bunnies, right? Hello, Lucille. Nice to see you. So what do you think? Should I should I give it a, um, a friend to sit with them there or leave it like it is? What do you think? My letters are not where I can grab them quick, but... I definitely could put another bunny in there. I'm just gonna wait one second so you can decide about that. I'm actually gonna run over and grab my, the rest of my, my bunny transfer and we'll see what we can do. Stay tuned. I got the bunnies. Oh, thank you guys. I think it's pretty cute too. So let me see what else I have. What other bunnies we've got in here? I've got different pieces of the bunnies. This one and this one. I've got that standing up bunny. I have a sitting down bunny. I have that one that would be facing him. Um, no, that one doesn't really face him. I've got a standing one and a sitting one. I think maybe this, the other sitting one might be cute. I have this one here, but yeah, it's kind of reaching for the balloon. You like that one? Or I have this one here. 
sitting or standing. If there was one facing him, I'll be holding it higher. Um, I could attach him like that. Kind of looks like he's holding on to the string too. What do you think? He's flying up in the air. I love it when you guys help me. So help me, help me. I think I have all the bunny parts here. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got bunny number one, who looks like he's reaching for the balloon. Um. Bunny number three, this is two. So this is three, who's just standing there. And then we've got bunny number four, who looks like he's looking up at the balloon. Cindy Lou, yes, says yes. I'm not sure which yes you like. <laughs> what do you think, you guys? Give me a number. Four, one, or I feel like I'm saying bachelor number three. There's four, three, and one. Four, three, and one. Don't forget if you say hashtag bunny, you get a set of bunny transfers and a brand new board eraser, which I can't see where I put it. A clean one of these. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is on the floor. Okay. So, they're reaching one. Okay, we got two votes for number one. Reaching one it is. So let me find his pieces that go with. That's number one. That's number three, number four. They all come with these cute little accessories. Except for this one, of course. Here's his tail. See if he has ears or anything. I can't tell from over here. Mm. Oh, there is another piece. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So we have his belly, his ear, and his tail, and then the little puppies that go on his tail. All right. So should we make this bunny a different color? I could do a white bunny. I could do a pink bunny. Run, 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 run. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. All right, so here he is kind of reaching for it. Should I have him touching this? No, if, it, if he touches the string, it looks like he's biting the string. So I'll just kind of have him jumping. It's a leaping bunny. The leaping bunny. Yeah, I know, Tina, there is a delay, and it's annoying as anything, but there's nothing I can do about it. All right, gray or white bunnies. I've got them both. I think we should do a different color than this one. I think that would look nice. All right, it's going to be a white button. Here we go. We've got him all nice and rubbed down, no bumps. No folds, no squeakies. I'm just gonna scoop this. Yeah, the delay is really a pain in the neck because I feel like I'm making you guys wait. So I'm spreading that on, spreading the chalk of love. Scraping off the excess right back into the jar. And he is done. this up. Bunny number one. Oh, Tina, good thing I did white. That's what she asked for. Oh, oh my gosh, this would be such a cute baby shower gift. Wouldn't it? Okay, let me give him a dry. Just take a second. Try not to blow everything off my table. Good. Hello, Kelly. Nice 
right, so now I just have to figure out what goes where, because that looks like the belly and ear. And I have used these transfers before, so they've been fuzzed. I'm just gonna put my initials on the front of these two here. And the next layer that goes on um, is his ear, his belly, and his tail. So let's see, what do you think we should do with those pink? Kind of makes sense, right? All right, I just have to figure out how to get them in the right spot. Belly. And put the ear and the belly. That looks pretty good. Okay. So the only other piece left for this bunny is the tail. Um, it's just little, like little, um, oops, little flecks that go on top of his tail. You could give him a string too. Ooh. I certainly could, huh? All right. We'll deal with that after this. You certainly could do that. Okay, my pink's already been stirred up. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that and do all three pieces, the ear, the tail, and the belly in pink. And now I'll go back and add those little flecks on top of his tail. His, her, I don't know what it is. Why do I always wanna call bunnies her? Clearly, there are boy bunnies. All right, let's give this a lift. I'm gonna go right over the spot quickly. It's actually a textured ear, but I don't know why. It doesn't look like it's stuck well. Okay, good, it was fine. And the belly's doing the same thing. No big deal, you can usually fix just about anything. Yep, better. Oh, so cute. I love it, love, love, love it. So these transfers, as I was saying earlier, are reusable, and what I'll do is I'll give them um, a water bath, lukewarm water, just give it a scrub, those board erasers, clean your transfers like crazy. I am giving them away if you decide that you would like the Build a Bunny transfer set, so be sure to let me know if you would like them. And I'm going to dry this bunny. And then we're going to give him a string. <laughs> At least a little bit of a string. This is so cute, you guys. I really love it. direction does this go who knows I'm just gonna fuzz this up a little bit on my towel on the side here feels a little stickier than I like it for layering and pop that back on here Oops, you can hardly see where I'm putting it I guess as long as there's pink showing under the tail I'm in the right spot right I don't know if it's upside down or not. Let me try it this way. You guys are patient with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, just need a little spot of white for that. I'm gonna get a smaller squeegee or I'll make a mess with it, I can tell. Alrighty. Done. And peel. Peel and reveal. Oh, so cute. Love it. Okay, now, Tina had an idea about putting another string in this bunny's hands. And I have a string right here, but I'm going to need to clean it a little bit before we can do that. So I'm just going to put this aside for a second. And let me grab, uh, let me grab a disinfectant wipe behind me. Okay, so 
Normally I would do this at the sink, but since I'm not near my sink, I'm just gonna use this. And really the most important part that I clean right now is the screen because um, that is where the chalk paste will stick and the new layer of chalk paste um, won't wanna go through it. So you wanna try to get your lines as clean as you possibly can when you're chalking. And it really helps if your transfer is really nice and clean. Okay. That looks pretty good. Back looks good. So after you've cleaned your transfers um, with water and you're done using them for the day, you want to take a disinfectant wipe. And I get these. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, but you can get them anywhere. And you just clean both sides of your transfer. And it really helps extend the life of them so that you can use them over and over and over again. Imagine how many projects you could make with this collection. It's got so many different things in it. All right, so this looks good to go again. Bring these back up here. And I'm gonna find a good spot for this string. See where this ply is. So make sure this is really nice and dry. Thank you, each hold it. Yes, ma'am. All right, so. Where's it going? Where's that? All right, here we go. This is for you, Miss Tina. I'm just gonna chuck that string. Should be an easy swoop. All the excess goes back in the jar. It is done. Oh, there's a little opening right there in the string for some reason. Oh, really cute, you guys. I'm just gonna take this off of here if I can. There, now it looks like it's behind him. I love it. I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it a little bit closer. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so we did it. We proved that bunnies are not just for Easter. Thank you all for your help. I am super proud of the way this came out. I love the colors. I think it would make a wonderful gift. What a nice thing to put in a baby's room. Or again, if we had just put one bunny on there, we could have put the you know a birthday greetings or the age that the child was in. I just think this is really, really fun and cute. You could even do like a, a cluster of three balloons without the bunnies and have a nice little birthday sign for somebody. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Again, I have four of these available that I am not allowed to offer on my business page, um, but I can say that to my VIP group. I actually think I have three now because someone claimed one. So if you would like one, um, as well as a free uh, board eraser, please write hashtag Easter Bunny in the comments and I will um, say one for you. The transfer is $39.99. Does anybody want to see what's on there one more time? You can see all the cute things. I'm just going to hold it up real fast. This is the beautiful, nice and clean board eraser that you get for free. The um, transfer set comes with four different bunnies and the accessories that you saw us use. The piece for the hair. Um, you've got the bottoms of their feet. You've got um, their eyes. Some of them have eyes. Their ears. We've got carrots. We've got flowers. We've got raindrops, we've got two sheets, look at that. We've got a big pail that you could use for the beach or you could use to put the tulips in there or the carrots or the Easter eggs. There's an umbrella and raindrops on the other side. You've got a little dandelion um, and of course the balloon and the string. So there's so much on this um, transfer that I think you could do lots and lots of things with it. So I have three of those available, hashtag um, Easter Bunny, that's my transfer of the day. It is $39.99 plus shipping, tax and shipping to you. And I will get those out as soon as possible. If you'd like, you can also save on the shipping and pick them up by yourself. 
So thank you so much for dropping in tonight. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I'll be back soon with some more projects. Let me know what you would like to see, okay? That would be wonderful. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.